Hello, Pisces. It's your girl, Blue, and we are back with a reading today. I do hope that this reading finds you well, darling, and feeling good. And if you are not, it's my intentions that you will be by the end of the reading. All right, so come on in. We just clearing out the energy oh, for you and for me, okay? <laughs> So come on in. I got some cards already out here, pre-shuffled, um, and just a message for you going forth through this weekend, okay? So one of your first cards that came out was the Hermit. It says, my power is in my ability to look within, rely on myself, and exercise tremendous patience. All right, so Virgo energy, we being patient this weekend. We're relying on ourselves and looking within, all right? Oh, right up under that you got, I am open to receiving the gift of divine love. We gonna talk about that because this card kind of, uh, yeah, matches up with that one. So, all right, um, after the Hermit card, this card came out, right? So what this card is, is a quote from a book that I read by Wallace D. Waddles, The Science of Getting Rich. And it, and it says, in order to get rich, you do not need a sweet hour of prayer. You need to pray without ceasing. I mean, holding steadily to your vision with the purpose to cause its creation into solid form and the faith that you are doing so, all right? All right, <clears throat> along with that card, we got a few other cards that kind of confirm this. All right, so on this card, it says a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Do you see that down at the bottom? Keep holding the vision. Mm, there's some sort of manifestation <clears throat> coming in for you. Look at that. You see that where it says manifestation down there? It says your life is a canvas artist, manifestation, creative accountability. All right. And also another card that kind of confirmed these two. And it was like, yo, real talk, hold your vision. <laughs> Whatever you are um, seeing for yourself, for your life, for your family, for your future, hold that vision. All right. This card right here is blessing meditation. I'm not going to read through all of this, but the card is basically saying to hold your vision as well. It says sit in a comfortable position in front of your serenity altar and meditate. Think about your blessing, <laughs> right? Think about your blessings, right? What are you grateful for at this moment? There is powerful magic in recognizing all that you possess. Breathe steadily and deeply, inhaling and exhaling slowly for 20 minutes. All right. So even though this is speaking of what you already have. All right. So getting in an attitude of gratitude, reflecting on all the blessings that are in your life, right? Knowing that there are even more blessings coming in, okay? All right, so just like this hermit card um, spoke of about looking within, relying on yourself and exercising patience, um, the recuperation card came out, all right? So this weekend, make sure you're, you're getting plenty of rest, all right? All right, it's something about coming out of some sort of sticky situation. All right, so you could have felt or could feel as though something is stuck, right? I have a card in this deck and it's a honey pot and it says complicated, sticky situation, stuck, right? But there's something about you coming out of some sort of sticky situation, something that has been very slow to come in for you. It's very much giving me manifestation, right? And then right under that, you got the bonus card with unexpected blessings, okay? Expect the unexpected miracles, blessings, and increase. But you got to you gotta rest now, okay? All right? Mm. If for any reason you get in a mode to where you start focusing on negativity, somebody affects your vibration, lowers your vibe, lowers your mood, Pull that ass back, <laughs> right? There you go again. Hermit mode, alone time, self-reliance. Self-reliance. Y'all see that? All right. 
Let's get into it. Ooh, you're going through some sort of awakening here. Mm. You see that? Third eye activation, spiritual awakening. All right. Let's get into it. Look, so if these low vibes try to come up, all right, those low vibes, grab you some smoky quartz. <clears throat> Dispels negative energy, home protection, earth connection, and achieving career success. I feel like in here, right up under that, you got healing, protection, telepathy. Yo, what is going on here? And connection. Look, telepathy, right? And then telepathy tea. All right. So I feel like in your downtime, your meditation, <clears throat> your um, stillness, there's a connection with your spirit team that's going to be strengthened, okay? So don't be surprised if your um you find that your intuition is stronger, right? That maybe you're having premonitions, okay? Prophetic dreams even, all right? Deja vu. It's something about your memory that is improving as well. That came up in our reading a few weeks ago, maybe like a month or two ago, right? But the telepathy T um, is the card is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, um, suggesting to basically petition your support system right before bed, right? So your angels, your ancestors, Jesus, Buddha, Shiva, whoever your folks is, all right? Asking them to reveal to you what needs to be seen in your dreams, right? Okay, so telepathy T and your dreams are significant, especially with this being here too, with the bed. Yeah, all right. And right, I'm telling you, so I feel like whoever I'm talking to today, you could have either, either experienced some sort of delay in your love life or your... um or in your finances, or it could be both, okay? Either or, because look what that's like, a spell for wealth. Nice. All right. The eclipse season could have been very significant for you. All right. It's some sort of like, look, messenger. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance, but messenger. All right. Messages coming through, Pisces. All right. So be open to them. Okie dokie. All right, so let's get some more messages from your spirit team. That was just pre-shuffle. <laughs> What's up with this? I am open to receive love. I am grounded, patient, and in flow with life. Lord have mercy. Hurry up and wait, Pisces, okay? Hurry up and wait. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for Pisces from their spirit team, please. What messages do they have for Pisces? Don't forget to hit that like button for your girl and exchange some energies with uh, with me. Um, you can also look down below in the description box or in the pinned comment section and book your reading. Readings are discounted this month in October in honor of my ancestors. All right, you have like a special connection to animals, okay? There's something about your telepathic abilities, your intuitive psychic abilities increasing, okay? All right. Also, Pisces, we are having another portal event on November the 9th, okay? At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure y'all go ahead and register for the event as it is. This is going to be a private event. All right. It will be a Zoom. So I made it private and I limited the amount of seats. Okay. The amount of people that can attend. So don't wait to the last minute. All right. That last 1010 portal event we had was amazing. And I know this one will be too. Messages for Pisces spirit. Celeste. Celeste is here. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energies. Okay, I'm telling you. Listen. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's something here about finances and love. You understand me, okay? It says new romance is imminent. 
either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open and um, receiving, be open to giving and receiving love, all right? Merlina is here as well. All right, that was Chantel and Celeste. Any of these names could be significant. Merlina, <clears throat> it says you are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. What, the, what, what, what decision you making, Pisces? Okay. All right, and then last but not least, we have Crystal here. She says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Hold your vision. Hold your vision, baby. Okay, you can't see it. You you the hermit with that lippity head light. Remember the lippity tiny light the hermit got? You can only see just, just a little bit in front of you. All right, so it's something you can't see, okay? <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck, you got Sonia. It says, I bring you a message from a deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me, all right? So... You got passed over loved ones. He's like, what is going on? One, one, two, three on the clock, baby. Ooh, y'all, that's been coming up too in our readings about a buildup. Like something being built up for you or like being prepared for you, okay? All right, so let's talk about Celeste. How is um, Pisces feeling? Holy Spirit, give me Pisces energy real quick. We'll do that first, and then we'll break down the cards. All right. Here we go. Holy Spirit, what is Pisces' current energy? Four of Wands. Come on, portal. 11, 11. Do you see it? 11, 11. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Confirmation. Go register today. Okay? Anyway, I'll leave all that information down below. Um, or you can find it on our community tab. All right. But you're walking through a portal. You are preparing. That's what I just heard. Preparing to walk through this portal. Because you see, they haven't walked through it yet. They still right there. They haven't come out on the other side of this portal yet. Right? So that's why it's very important for you to make sure you're resting, you're recuperating, and you're preparing. Okay? Because the energy shifts be for real. This should be real life. <laughs> okay? But this is a really good energy, Pisces. All right? You could be doing things around your home. Okay? Preparing, decorating, um, even putting up like um, Halloween or um, Thanksgiving uh, decorations or preparing for the holidays is what it's giving me. Okay? It's, it's giving me an energy of someone who is in preparation for a special event. All right? This is also a card of celebration, graduation, and going to the next level, Pisces. I love that for your energy. Beautiful. All right. Definitely something here about your home, right? It says home protection, dispelling negative energy, right? You see it? Okay. And you achieving career success. Anything else from sex spirit for Pisces energy? Okay. Wow, Pisces, your energy is beautiful. Okay, you there go that two of swords, the six of cups, and then the judgment too. It could be something from your past that you're trying to decide on though. Let's see. The judgment. And then you got the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you are um, kind of at a crossroads about. All right, let's see. Oh my, oh my God, who is this? Who is this? Somebody is, the energy ain't cute, okay? This feels very much bound and withdrawn and blocked off this feels very very 
um, cut off, okay? I just heard you cut off their supply. You cut off someone's supply. Ride with me, y'all. We gonna see what this is. I'm also getting a message regarding your energy, Pisces, and that for a time, it remember it's like it's like coming becoming unstuck out of something. All right, something could have had your mind like I don't know, bound up. All right, or either this is someone else. Just put the energy where it goes. Give me a second. All right, Holy Spirit. Tell me more, please. What's the... Um, Merlina, let's talk about this. What are they confused and indecisive about because they don't have enough information? There's like something you want to resolve here. <clears throat> it's giving me like an energy of... Uh, wanting to close, like, li like for real, close out some sort of energy in your life, right? Some sort of toy. Uh, not necessarily, <clears throat> not necessarily a cycle in your life, but just a period in your life. All right, you could be disconnecting from someone or a job, or it could be love, a job. Just put the energy where it goes, right? But it's very much giving me like you want to be cleansed of this. You want to. You don't want to be bound to something anymore. Give me a moment. 44 could be significant. This is interesting. The cards out here, right? You have two, four, six, eight. All right. So <laughs> who do we appreciate? It's definitely something here about gratitude and like appreciation. Gratitude increases the flow of abundance, right? But Spirit, tell me about this. What are they confused about the Two of Swords with the Merlina card? The Knight of Wands. Why something is moving so slow? Because you you come and unstuck out of something. Tell me more. This is also giving me investment. All right, so I've called my energy back from this situation. Now, where should I place my energy now? You know what I'm saying? My son, I think I'm telling you something. It's like a whatever this ending was, it could have been very, very painful. Not very easy to get over, get through. Okay, all right. You could have even, my God, somebody, something could have occurred out of the blue here. Somebody could have like literally stabbed you in your back, bro. Or put you in a position that had you... Um, okay, so the the example they're giving me is like having a nice little 401k or savings or something like that, right? And somebody you trust, you love this person, okay? Ask you for a loan. Like, yo, I'm going through hard times. Can I get a loan, right? Let's say yo, it was $10,000 you had in savings. This person need 8000 You trust them. You love them. You didn't known them since childhood. So you know you good. They good for it. You give them the money, right? And then all of a sudden they disappear. And then you start having a time in your life where you need that money. That's what it's giving me. Like somehow you were, you got in a position of this, right? For some of y'all possibly even having to, um, Hold on to the little energy that you do have, whether this energy is love, money, or um, or just your energy, right? Pulling your energy back, all right, <clears throat> to try to see how to come out of this bind. That's what it's giving me. Like somebody put you in a bind, bro, sis. It's like, how do I get out of this bind? For right now, focus, like stay, keep your vision, hold your vision, right? Going within hermit mode and making sure you get lots of rest and relaxation um because you're going through like bruh you can't just get straight up after this happened to you you got to sit your ass down the hill ninja your whole damn spine fall out your back now nah? okay trying to get up now nah? lay down for a minute let let, let let spirit get these knives out your back right let god 
do some surgery on you first, okay? You might need a few stitches, okay? It's something about your chakras too. Something through your chakras off of alignment. This it, root is what I'm hearing. Something could affect it, your root chakra or either your heart. Uh, for somebody here, it could have even affected your third eye, like your vision, your intuition. And I feel like whoever I'm speaking to today, it could have messed with your intuition because I feel like whatever happened here, this was with someone for like the six of cups, right? Six of cups and the judgment card, both cards that talk about the past, letting the past go, right? With this one. And this one is like thinking of happy memories of the past, right? So something about the past here, but it's very much giving me like, you could have, uh, could after this occurred, you could have second guessed your intuition because you may have thought like, well, damn, how did I not see this coming? You know what I'm saying? I heard devious though down here. I don't know. Somebody could have been very much like, you know, maybe self-centered is what I'm hearing. You can't go run track after this, Pisces. You got to take it slow. Okay. You got to take it slow so your spine don't fall out your back. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's go a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is giving me like a, a like a, a unexpected attack. This is giving me un like you weren't expect. Like literally, look, it knocked your damn like knocked your socks off. Like what the fuck? Not them. Not them. God. <laughs> real talk look at this shit the moon this is crazy and the fucking seven is yo 22 zero zero on the clock who this hoe is y'all know i'll be ready to fight <laughs> in the spirit world that is spirit realm okay yo that's crazy this morning let me tell y'all look okay hold on <laughs> somebody oh shit somebody is an illusionist that's what i heard Somebody, somebody could even hide behind money or something like that, okay? Or like some sort of false persona. But the other night, um, that was the night before last night, yeah. Um, my spirits, I don't know why, but I opened my emails and it was a message that came through at 11, 11 a.m. So I click on the message and it says something about, it was like somebody was dropping an album and it was called Psalms, right? So I was like, Psalms, okay, but all right. So I, I didn't look into it. I went to their album, the Psalms album. It was like, but <clears throat> excuse me, um, this morning when I woke up again, the first thing I heard was the book of Psalms. So I'm like, spirit what what are you saying so <laughs> i i took the time to go through a couple of books of psalms okay and psalm 144 really spoke to my spirit but i don't know you know what i'm saying knock on a bible open that joint up and see where you go with it okay <laughs> or just ask spirit to guide you to whatever psalm you may need right now those are powerful prayers y'all the, the bible is literally like a big ass spell book just my opinion Okay, real talk. There's some powerful ways to break out of bondage in the in the the holy books. Okay, not just the Bible, but definitely um the Bible. <laughs> All right. So let's see about this home because mm -mm. we're gonna keep those over there too. All right, spirit. Anything else about this uh, confused and indecisive? What's going on at this crossroads for Pisces? The lovers was about to pop out. A Gemini can definitely be significant here. All right. And a Ten of Wands. Okay, so the lovers is a card of choice, right? Um, 
and so is the two of swords and you have the king of swords this is definitely about some sort of like decision what's this decision in relation to spirit the six of pentacles oh oh i see what you saw oh oh i'm gonna say this let god be your avenger i feel like i'm talking to somebody who really real life like this is a this was an unexpected attack is what i'm hearing <laughs> A king of pentacles could be significant. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Somebody made something like really hard for you. Excuse me. Call judgment on the hoe. Real talk. Call judgment. All right. And don't get in my comment section talking about some you can't call judgment. Only God can. Ho, go read the Bible for real, for real. All right. Because you got me fucked up. All right. He's about to say it the last time. Like, look, look. Get, get up off our planet, all right? If you come with all that rah-rah shit, okay? Period. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles. This is like alignment here, y'all. The six, You got six, six, six out this hole. Wait a minute. <laughs> six, six, six. All right, spirit. Yeah, but call judgment, right? What information do they need to make a better or make a good decision, spirit? Aries, I mean the emperor. Whatever happened here, so, let me just, Give me a clarify because it's giving me that you could think that or there could be a situation that this situation, whatever happened here, the surprise attack, this seven of swords, this moon shit over here, this manipulation, this whatever, whoever, right? You may feel like this person set you up right but it's something about it might not j like it's giving me very much like <clears throat> there could be somebody involved here that you may not know about or something give me a second what is going on here what Tell me more, spirit. Oh, shit. The two of cups. Give me one more, please. The three of swords. What the hell? <laughs> for some of y'all, <clears throat> for some of y'all, if it, listen, for everybody, if somebody comes back that from your past that caused some sort of heart, uh, no. No, they don't get a second chance. Don't you ain't even gotta worry about no decision on that shit. No. Okay. I feel like somebody has gone through the process of calling their energy back, restoring their health, recovering, recuperating, okay, from whatever the hell this was. Even working on your heart chakra, your root chakra, feeling safe again, op opening back up to trust again. Give me a second. This could, <clears throat> excuse me, this is also giving me, you know, kind of wondering if you should put yourself back out there. Wow. Yeah, don't put yourself back out there with that past person, though. That person, right? That, they, 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 look at all these ugly ass cards on this board, y'all. The Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Moon. Like, no. Hell to the gnaw, the ten of wands. Ain't nobody got time. Ew, okay. No. Yeah, because bringing, allowing someone from the past to come back is gonna, is, it will literally slow you back down. I mean, it'll slow you back down. Slow you down, real talk. All right, so let's move this. Thank you, spirit. It's something about an outside energy here, y'all. All right, spirit. 
Tell me about the move to home. Jeez. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Real talk. You got a lot to get. Like, you have a lot to be thankful for, right? Now, right? I, you and the four wands. You obviously got something to be thankful for, right? And the ace of cups. But you can also thank God for what's coming in. Because thank God for what's, what's about to happen. Okay. All right. Tell me about Chantel, please. A new romance or a reignited passion. High Priestess of Pisces could be significant. You got Leo out here too. Scorpio and Cancer. All right. Tell me more spirit about this new love. The death, Scorpio energy. You are this person, somebody, one of y'all might be a medium, bro. Real talk. I'm telling you, you gotta be, look, the telepathy and all of this shit right here. Pisces, <laughs> your intuition is about to be lit. Do you understand me? And then remember in this spread down here, it's like whatever happened, it fucked with your trust. Because this was a person you trusted that stabbed you in the back and that was sneaking off doing God knows what with God knows who. I don't know. All right. <laughs> but... I feel as though this is, this, you're going through a huge ass, like, it's, it's giving me like a, it's almost like wiping the slate clean. You understand what I'm telling you? You may be faced with your shadow. I'm not even going to lie. All right. Your shadow may come up this weekend for you to address, address <laughs> anything that, um, uh, uh, sure, uh, anything that has not all the way been ten assorted, okay, that could hinder this um transformation, but it's more than just that. What's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Um, that would hinder this. This it, it's like a, a shit, a new person down there. Like you, you're not. This has changed you. <laughs> Whatever this was that happened here, you're not you're not that person anymore. People can't approach you the same way, right? And although it may have had you shut down, right? It may have had your root chakra, right? Your heart chakra and possibly your crown or your third eye, right? Like receiving messages, guidance, direction from God. It could have had it shut down for a minute. But spirit is opening that ass back up. <laughs> Hopefully not literally, okay? But opening, opening you back up, okay? A Scorpio or another Pisces could be significant here. Give me a second. This love, this romance, whatever this is that's coming in, it can't be rushed, right? It can't be rushed. And spirit is giving me the uh, 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 cocoon, like in a cocoon. You can't, I'm going to tell y'all, I got, I'm gardening, right? And I had never seen a, a chrysalis or a cocoon. I have never seen one like up close like that. It looked like it was a plastic toy. It looked like a piece of one of my like children's action figures. So I pick it up. And when I picked it up, y'all, the thing, the thing hit it a certain way and I, all the guts came out. I did not know it was real. <laughs> oh, Lord, I ask for forgiveness. God, forgive me. I ain't mean to kill a little whatever was in there. But if you open it up too soon, you'll destroy it. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is giving me. But, oh, yeah, she not talk about you. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, 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 my God. Yes, 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 yes. Spirit team, spirit team. Look. If this person does come back around, whoever this King of Wands is, 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They don't have to be those signs though, okay? All right. But if this person comes back around, they're not going to meet the same you they knew before. Three, four, five, six was on the clock. You're taking the right steps too. Like continue holding your vision. All right. You want to tell me anything else about this um, new romance? My God, my God, you know this person. When I say that, what I'm saying is this person is a soulmate. This is one of my soul family cards. Give me a second. Y'all, I'm finna cry, bro. <laughs> got the four of wands the ace of cups the sun the uh, high priestess the death and the ten of cups this is beautiful somebody tried to leave you for dead bro somebody tried to suck all the fucking life out of you jeez louise give me a second You could have even like lost weight or something dealing with this shit. All right, spirit. And the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. There's love messages. Oh my God. Anything else, Holy Spirit, they need to know about this new romance or reignited passion in an existing romance the world that is it y'all that is it that is all this romance may even lead to like you know marriage because that's this is closed too like it's not we not finna do no third parties we ain't like this is it this is oh my god what i just heard was covering as well like this uh yo she might die uh um this union is covered okay all right all right we're gonna get um just one y'all look we gonna do an extended because we had 37 minutes y'all my god this is beautiful please do not if this well weather reading in for you do not allow whoever this fuckery of a person is okay over here please don't allow them to because the past is past in now okay all right uh we ain't got we ain't got time for this shit right here no more of this okay mm -mm. ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time you understand me they tried it they tried it and they may have succeeded for some of y'all right but noah baby noah all right, but anyway, if you want to get in on the extended reading, um, if you would like to view the extended reading, I will leave a link down below for you to um, to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> you do have to be a VIP or a VIP 2.0 citizen of the planet. All right, and you do that by pressing the join button. Um, all of that stuff should be linked either in the pinned comments or in the description box. I will also link the reading down below in the pinned comments for the extended reading. In the extended reading, we're going to see what's going on here with this new love. I mean, shit. It, get a shit. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's what it is. All right. And we are also going to see what this other person, because they came up in your reading for a reason, right? We're going to see what are their intentions because your past over love ones are definitely wanting you to be aware of something, right? This is like attention, pay attention, right? You could even be seeing 911, 1111, uh, 111, just 11s, period, right? Okay, and we'll see what they want us to know about. Listen to me now. Confirmation. They got a message for that ass, all right? So I'll see y'all in the extended reading. Look down below in the pinned comments for all, all the stuff you need. Okay, baby, I love you. Talk to you later.